Hey everybody, welcome to VR Game Rankings YouTube channel. You of course are tuned in to our daily vlog series and this is episode 98 for Wednesday, February 14th. It is Valentine's Day and you know what? It's appropriate that it is Valentine's Day because I do have some love for a product that is going to be coming in the year 2018 and that is the discussion that I want to get into on this show. Now last night I had no idea that I was going to be talking about this today but there was a very important interview that happened last night. Now this was at the Code Media Conference last night. Ronnie Abovitz and Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, Ronnie Abovitz, of course, of Magic Leap, they were both being interviewed on stage and there was a lot of great information that came out in this interview. And honestly, I think there is a lot of stuff to discuss here, a lot of stuff to talk about. And I really want to get into this. I really want to cover this topic today. And what I'm going to do today, this is going to be a completely different episode than normal. And the reason it's going to be very different is what I'm going to do is to try to go through this uh, interview that happened last night. I'm actually going to take individual clips of the interview. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to individual clips. We'll watch a couple of these short segments and then I'm going to comment on each of these clips. So I have never done anything like this on this show before. So this is a brand new thing. I'm just going to try it out with this episode. Hopefully this will work. And so we're going to go ahead and start it off. So Basically, like I said, last night there was a major interview that took place at the Code Media Conference. Ronnie Abovitz, CEO of Magic Leap, founder and CEO of Magic Leap, and Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA. They were being interviewed together. There's a partnership between Magic Leap and the NBA. And what I want to do now is I want to go to clip number one. So let's go ahead and roll clip number one. So easy for you to say. It's hard like, for us what to are get we our head about? around. Yeah. Um, you will soon. Yeah, so in lieu of being able to actually use it ourselves, we have we have someone describing what the this is like. Should yeah, we, we have a, we have a, unfortunately couldn't be with us today, but uh, a little, a little uh, special that, video. Let's play that video. Hello, my name is Shaquille O'Neal. First of all, I'd like to say welcome to the 2018 Code Conference. I'd like to give a special shout out to Roni and my good friend Adam. When I went to Magic Leap, I put on a pair of these glasses and I watched a full court game right here. Not flat, LeBron was right here. I seen LeBron taking coach, like it was the most amazing thing. And then I went over here and I'm watching the Orlando Magic play the Los Angeles Lakers. So I think the NBA, once they get a hold of this technology and some of the players, they're really gonna wanna integrate their material and their content with Magic Leap, and it's about to be a wonderful thing. When I first saw the technology, I begged the people at Magic Leap, I said, please let me be inside people's glasses when they put them on. So I came and they put all the little balls on me and we did a few things, and I actually saw it. And then when I saw it, it made me feel like I had a twin brother. Because I put these glasses on and I saw the most beautiful, tall, black guy I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, oh, that's me. Make sure you get your son. Have fun at the 2018 Code Conference. Shaq, signing off. All right, so yeah, that was clip number one and very interesting because we got Shaquille O'Neal on on camera wearing actual Magic Leap headset and how crazy was that entire clip right there? There's a lot of things to comment about on that particular clip. For the first thing I wanna comment on is we are literally living in the future, okay? This is the year 2018, and I think it's safe to say 2018 is the future, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to the future. Did you see Shaquille O'Neal right there? Did you see that crazy ass thing on his head? It looks like Shaquille O'Neal got off the set of some type of science fiction movie that is set 200 years in the future. Can you believe that in a number of months when Magic Leap hits the actual scenes, 
people are going to be wearing these crazy bug-eyed glasses like that that Shaquille O'Neal was wearing. I still, every time I watch that clip, it's hard for me to get over it. And then, of course, the 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 funny part of it is, is that they were actually able to get a Magic Leap headset that actually fit Shaquille's gigantic dome. I mean, let's be real about this. And Ronnie, Ab Ronnie Abovitz, of course, joked that it was Magic Leap 1 large. So they're actually going to have different versions of Magic Leap 1. They're probably going to have a, a normal Magic Leap 1. They're probably going to have a large version and then a Magic Leap small version for three different various head sizes. And hey, who am I to talk? I know I have a pretty big dome. I might have to go for Magic Leap large large uh, myself. So I, I really can't talk a whole bunch of smack there. But but this is the future, folks. I mean, did you see Shaquille O'Neal talking about this? He talked about how he put on the Magic Leap 1 headset and he was watching LeBron right there. He was looking down and he saw LeBron right there taking a shot. He was watching a game take place, a full court game. And I think this is one of the key reasons that Magic Leap has hooked up with the NBA. I think the NBA is absolutely perfect because if you think about the NFL or if you think about Major League Baseball or you think about, say, hockey or, or soccer and, and some of these different sports, the fields are so big. You know, the fields are so huge. But with basketball, you have a relatively confined uh, location where the sport takes place. And it's something that you can look down at a table and have a basketball game just displaying right in front of you on a table. You can see how things open up. You can see the full court. You can see passes. You can see how things open up. Absolutely incredible. And Shaquille O'Neal was, was blown away about it. He said the most amazing thing. He was talking about seeing LeBron James and he said it was absolutely amazing. Let's see. What else did he have to say? Oh yeah, Shaquille begged Magic Leap to put him into AR so that people that get these goggles will see Shaquille O'Neal. He begged them to put him in there and he was and and they digitalized him and then Shaquille O'Neal said he saw himself and it was like he had a twin brother and he's like, "Look at this tall, beautiful black man. You know, this is this is my brother right here. This is me." Is basically what he was saying. That was pretty hilarious as well. And uh so that was our first clip and you know, I mean, the, the crazy thing about this is that the things that we can take away from this is, first of all, these glasses are kind of crazy looking, although they do fit, you know, they fit people's heads and people can wear these. But man, is this like this is like some future science science fiction type stuff. You know, this is like Minority Report or some type of uh, this is like a TV show on Netflix. It's like 200 years in the future. These glasses are kind of crazy. And it was really cool to see Shaquille O'Neal sporting those glasses. But let's go ahead and jump into clip number two now. So go ahead and roll clip number two. Ronnie, when you said 2018, want to narrow that down for when we're actually going to have these things in our hands? That's this year, 2018. I think. Yeah. It makes it sound like we that. We are shipping often. this year. So <laughs> shipping this year, we, committed we, to that. We are continuously seeding uh, early access developers. We've been doing that okay. since last summer, so that's happening. Um, what are they going to cost? Sometime in the spring, we'll be announcing more. You'll announce more information in the spring. More information what, what, what are they going to cost? Um, we'll announce pricing the day and date of sale. I, but someone, good... someone who seemed like they knew something told me that they were ballparking at around a thousand bucks. Is that in the range? Um, I think we're pricing it. It's, it's it's a premium computer, so I would think of it that way. It's Alrighty, so that was clip number two, and we found a number of interesting things out in clip number two. Obviously, this product is shipping in 2018. Now, we've already heard this before. This has been talked about before, but this is, again, confirmation. This is Roni Abovitz on stage with Adam Silver, and he repeatedly said, we are shipping in 2018. The other thing that he mentioned is that they are continuously seeding early access developers with dev kits and with their technology. In fact, since last summer, dev uh, early de developers have been getting access to this. They've been working on apps. They've been working on entertainment properties. And so this has been going on for quite some time. So that is good that we found out about that. He also said that they will announce 
pricing and the date of sale that sometime in spring they will announce availability that they will announce pricing and the date of sale and then of course the interview guy was asking so is this going to be around a thousand bucks and Romy uh, Roni Abovitz said well you got to think of this as a premium computer so think of it in that way and so we know that obviously in the spring we're probably going to get uh, another big burst of information about Magic Leap. I think the way this thing is kind of setting up is they are going to ship in 2018. So at some point in 2018, Magic Leap will actually go on sale. But the way this thing is starting to play out, I believe, is that in the spring, we're probably going to get a much grander unveiling of the product. I, I would have to imagine there will probably be a major press conference with more of an of a, a general unveiling of the product showing games. Press will be able to, will be invited to it and press will actually try a lot of different experiences. I'm sure they'll try an NBA experience. I'm sure they will try different AR games and all kinds of different experiences will be displayed at this spring unveiling. And it might be at this spring unveiling that we get an actual date and an actual price. And, you know, developers have been working on this since last summer. That's great. So they will continue to work on that. Now, let's go ahead and go into clip three because clip number three gets into a little bit more depth about the pricing talk. So let's go ahead and roll clip number three. And, and where do you need to get it to pricing wise where you think this is a mass market product? I think the Magic Leap One Creator Edition price point we will have a product line in that price point probably for the company's history, and we'll probably have some above and we'll have some below. So I think we're trying to establish certain tiers, like we're not gonna be a single product company over time. So just like you know, other companies have like, you know, they have a cascade of like, you know, really high end for like prosumers, professionals. Right. This is think of this as like prosumerish, and then we'll have even higher end for like, you know, hyper pro. And then we'll have like you know wide mass market. Right. What's what? What's a wide mass market price? Two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks. Can no. you get to that? No. I think I think Magic Leap is like, you know, like think higher end mobile phone to higher end tablet zone is probably our floor. That's your floor. So that's yeah. my iPhone X is a thousand bucks, right? Without naming anybody, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so clip number three, you know, they talked about pricing and basically the interview guy pretty much said, so what What are you going to have to do to, what does Magic Leap have to do to get this uh, price at a more mass market pricing type of thing? And basically, Roni Abovitz kind of said, look, we're going to have a number of tiers to this product that there is going to, that they're not a single product company. They are going to offer a number of different tiers. They are going to have like a super, super high end version. They're going to have their normal Magic Leap version. And then they're going to kind of have a lower entry level, kind of more of a mass market version. So it looks like three different tiers of their product is going to be available. Probably not right away. I would have to imagine initially it will just be the single initial product Magic Leap 1 Creators Edition. That will probably be the, the mid tier. We won't get the, the more mass market option and we won't get the hyper pro option either. One thing that he did mention is that this first one is kind of more of a prosumer-ish type of headset in the beginning. Very similar, of course, to HTC Vive Pro. Prosumer seems to be a very popular term. It's basically saying, look, this is going to be pretty damn expensive, not mass market. It's prosumer. So that's kind of where it's go where it's going there. And then he did talk about hyper pro, like a really high end experience. And then, of course, the more wider mass market one. And the funniest part of this clip is when the interview guy, and I really should have this guy's name, my apologies for not having this guy's name. He he goes to to Ronnie to Roni and he's saying, so um, you know, so mass market, what what are you looking at? You know, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars? And Roni was like, uh no, not quite, you know. So he he was probably thinking, oh my God, these people and their and their petty, you know, little amounts of money. I mean, there's no way you're not gonna see a magic leap anytime soon in that kind of category. This is not that kind of a product. 
This is a premium high-end product. It's going to take many, many, many years before we're going to see a $200, $300, even a $500 Magic Leap. That is very much off into the future. So that was kind of funny there. But one of the key things that Roni said, one of the most important things that Roni said in this particular clip is he said, think about higher end mobile phones or to the higher end tablet zone. That is their floor. So that is the absolute bottom. So what you're seeing on a lot of websites today, you might see a news story. Like I, I think I saw it, was it on Engadget or, or where did I see it? It said Magic Leap to be priced around $1,000. Roni Abovitz never said that. I don't know where, the, I've watched this entire interview and Roni Abovitz never said anything about Magic Leap One being anywhere near $1,000. Now what he did say, and this was on that clip that I just played, what he did say, if you think about a higher end mobile phone to the higher end tablet zone, well, well think about the highest end mobile phones and very high end tablets, we're talking a thousand dollars and plus a thousand dollars. Now he said that was the floor. That is the floor. So that is their mass market version of Magic Leap, and we're not getting that one right away. Remember, we're not getting the mass market Magic Leap, and we're not getting the Hyper Pro Magic Leap either. What we're going to get is the middle version. We're getting the Magic Leap 1 Creators Edition. We're going to get the middle version first, so I think the lowest possible price you will we will see for this Magic Leap Creator 1, the lowest possible price, in my opinion, would be, would be $1,499.99. That would be the lowest possible price, and I'm honestly not expecting that. In fact, after watching this, hearing this interview, I'm thinking this is going to be $1,999. This is going to be two grand, and that is on the low end of the scale. I'm telling you, this is the low end. This could be $2,500. This could even potentially be three grand. I mean, just take a look at HoloLens. HoloLens is three grand right now. This could very well be in the three grand because you got to understand this is the Magic Leap One Creators Edition. They know there is a pen up demand. They know there is a tremendous amount of excitement, a tremendous amount of hype around this product. This could be one of the most future looking products we've ever seen. Remember Ricky Gervais? Do you remember what Ricky Gervais said about Magic Leap? He said, congratulations, Magic Leap. He said, what is it like to know that you've basically changed the world? I mean, he said something about like Alexander Graham Bell. Like, what is it like knowing that you guys have basically changed the world? People have gone to Florida. They've signed the NDAs. Adam Silver went to Florida. He signed the NDAs. They've seen the real technology that Magic Leap has, and they've been absolutely blown away. Their hair has been blown back. This is not HoloLens. They have been completely blown away. I don't think anybody has been blown away to this level in comparison to something like uh, HoloLens or Avagant or any of the other AR products. So, you know, this is going to be an expensive item. It is not going to be cheap. My prediction right barely under two grand, that's a possibility, or 2,500. That's kind of the range that I'm looking at for Magic Leap One Creators Edition. So I hope people don't get confused with these headlines that are out there saying that this is gonna be Magic Leap One is $1,000. That's the wrong headline. No, Ronnie Abovitz didn't say anything of the kind. He never mentioned that whatsoever. That was the interview guy saying that his iPhone X costs around $1,000. And Rami, R Roni Abovitz said, well, you know, we're not naming any names or anything, but he didn't say, oh yeah, it is a thousand. No, he was talking about in that range of these really high-end phones. So that is clip number three. Okay, let's go into clip number four. You get, a, you get multiple computers. You, get, you don't have to buy another computer. You get a full-blown computer in your pocket. Um, you have like this whole computer machine AI system with digital light field there. Yeah. So the number of devices it's potentially replacing, if you actually add all that up, like at some point, we're not saying for ML1, everyone will, will go down this path, but your phones, your televisions, your laptops, your tablets, that add up to thousands or tens of thousands of dollars, all get virtualized. So the economy of what we're building actually 
um, can replace, not on day one, but over the next, you know, let's say, Gen 2, Gen 3, a whole suite of consumer electronics. And you're out here. Okay, so clip number four is a very short clip. And basically in this clip, Roni Abovitz is kind of justifying the fact that this is a very premium device. This is an expensive device. This is not going to be for the faint of heart or for those that are light in the pocketbook. You better have some serious cash on hand if you want to jump after Magic Leap. And one of the one of his justifications for all of this is that basically you're getting multiple computers when you buy Magic Leap. And he said that, you know, you're, you're not going to need another computer and that this Magic Leap is going to be replacing multiple devices that they're all going to get virtualized over time. Now, what he did say, though, that this is more like generation two and generation three. So maybe Magic Leap one isn't going to be replacing an entire set of devices but by the time they get to Magic Leap 2, by the time they get to Magic Leap 3, the idea is you're not going to be buying phones anymore. Magic Leap is going to be your phone. You're not going to buy a laptop anymore. Magic Leap is going to be your laptop. You're not going to buy a tablet anymore. Magic Leap is going to be your tablet. You're not going to buy a 60-inch 4K TV anymore because you're going to have multiple 4K TVs that you can put anywhere in your vision and place all over the place. You're, they, they were talking about the NBA. They were talking about how you could have six or seven screens set up with all kinds of different viewing angles, different camera angles, a screen that is, is breaking down stats, that this is basically going to completely revolutionize the way we watch sporting events, that you're going to have skybox angles, that you're going to have overhead angles, close-up angles, uh, just unlimited kind of angles, and it's going to take you into the game like never before. And so, and, and they're replacing all these different devices eventually, that it would replace a whole suite of consumer electronic products. So that's basically was clip four. Okay, and then the last clip that I have for you guys is clip number five. It's all about the experience. Let's go ahead and roll this clip. What I mean by experiential is like the visual quality has to make you feel and like it's amazing. There's no other way to get that. It's not like just data in front of me. It's not a data appliance. Um, beautiful sound field, like just stuff that actually moves you so that you're, you know, just like you'd put on a really great pair of headphones to get amazing sound like a concert, they're not the prettiest things in the world. They're like World War II headphone cans. But you do it because the sound's amazing and you want that amazing sonic experience. Um, then you have little tiny earbuds for just everyday phone calls. So think of what we're, we're doing is people want an amazing visual sonic experience where putting that on versus like driving for two hours in traffic and spending hundreds of dollars to go do something else, it's now digitally brought into my home. So the convenience factor um, at some point will be kind of amazing relative to like what you need to do to get that same experience another way. Okay, so yeah, so this was Roni Abovitz basically selling you on the Magic Leap experience, and that's what it's all about. And he talks about how the video quality needs to be amazing. And he was talking about how if you really want some really good sound, what do you do? You put on these big bulky headphones. They don't necessarily look very cool. He was talking about World War II era can headphones where if you really want that super high end audio experience you put on these big ugly headphones and and that's the way it works and if you just are listening to a phone call or something you might just use little earbuds and 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 that's kind of the idea there so his thought process here is if you want an incredible visual experience that will just blow you away and give you an experience that you've never had before in your entire life, you put on these Magic Leap goggles. And that is what it's all about. That That's what he was talking about. He says that the Magic Leap one, it's not a data appliance, that it's an experiential appliance. Earlier in the talk, he was talking about how uh, a new economy that is coming is the experiential economy. That's that's where we're going long term. When VR and AR really start to take over, what we're eventually going to get to is it's going to be all about experiences. That's what everyone is going to be selling. It's going to be how do I get the best experience? How do I get the most impactful experience? And everyone is going to be offering experiences. And we're going to go into this experiential economy. And Magic uh, Roni Abovitz was kind of talking about that. 
he also mentioned, you know, the idea of putting on a magic leap one versus driving two hours in traffic and and paying hundreds of dollars to go to some type of a special event that instead of doing all of that, you can basically stay at home in the comfort of your own home. You could put on these magic leap glasses and you can bring that experience right to you. You don't have to spend any time driving in traffic. You don't have to pay hundreds of dollars to go to these sporting events. And it's funny because Adam Silver is sitting right next to him and in, in a, sort of in a way he's almost saying look you don't need to drive down to uh, whatever arena it is to watch LeBron James you can bring LeBron James right into your living room you can see him in three dimensional you know in 3D right there dunking the basketball real life like he's right there in your living room dunking a basketball just an incre incredible amazing experience that's going to be brought right to you and I thought it was kind of funny that we did have out Adam Silver sitting right there as he's talking about that. So anyway, you know, there's a lot of information that happened in this interview. And, um, you know, really the most, honestly, the most amazing thing about this entire thing, I can tell you right now that I am starting to turn into a Magic Leap fanboy. And, you know, what can I say? I am turning into a Magic Leap fanboy because I am incredibly excited about this. And you want to know the reason why I'm excited about this? Do you understand what's going on here? Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, was sitting there with Roni Abovitz for this incredibly long interview. You don't just get commissioners of major sports leagues that are buddy-buddy with the CEO of a company that hasn't even released a product. What this tells me is that Magic Leap's product is beyond incredible. That Magic Leap's product is going to change the game, folks. Magic Leap is going to kill it. What I thought was going to happen is going to happen. Uh, Adam Silver said three NBA owners have invested money into Magic Leap. I would love to invest money into Magic Leap. Roni Abovitz, hook me up, send me a dev kit of Magic Leap. I would love to try this out. I want to see LeBron James in my living room. I want to see Shaq in my living room. It sounds incredible. It sounds amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. But I mean, that's what really blows me away is do you see Adam Silver sitting there with Microsoft talking about HoloLens? Do you see Adam Silver sitting in a 35 minute interview with uh, Jason Rubin of Oculus? No, that's not happening because those technologies are not as magical as Magic Leap. Yes, Magic Leap, I really believe they've got something incredible here. Now, we still don't know what the field of view is, but this must just be sensational because you don't do this. This doesn't happen. This is not normal. Adam Silver was basically sitting there and he was, throughout this entire interview, Adam Silver was was coming from a place of gratitude where he's basically, he's thankful that Magic Leap chose them, not the other way around. The NBA didn't choose Magic Leap. Magic Leap chose the NBA. And Adam Silver is acting like he's internally grateful that, that Magic Leap looked at the NBA as a great partner and considered them that they're blessed that this technology is going to just absolutely kill it. So so anyways, this show has been pretty much all Magic Leap. I know there's other news that's going on, but I really think this is the most important thing out there right now. I think the future has been seen. We saw the future with Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal wearing those crazy bug goggles. He looks like he stepped off the set of Starship Troopers 4. I mean, he looks like he came from the future, seriously, wearing that crazy thing on his head. Oh, one other thing I, I did want to mention about this whole thing is there's one point where the interview guy is talking to Ron, Roni Abovitz and he's saying, look, I know this all sounds incredible, but what about the fact that you can just sit down on your couch and you can just watch an NBA game? Do I really want to put on goggles? And Roni basically said, well, look, you can still see the people that are sitting around you. You can see your family members. You can see the dog walk across the living room floor. You can see all of these things. And when Roni Abovitz was saying that, I thought back to the Shaquille O'Neal video and I thought, really, can you see all that stuff? Because those goggles, they 
they look really dark. It doesn't look like you'd be able to see very much at all. It, and also they're they're limiting your field of view. So if, if, if you have a family member that's standing over there, do you really think you're going to see that family member? And it looks dark and it looks like a lot of stuff is going on inside those goggles. So I don't know how easily you're going to see people walking around you. You're going to see a dog. And also, I don't think anybody's going to see your pupils. I don't think anybody's going to see your eyeballs. So Magic Leap does have a ways to go when it comes to all of that. And that hopefully will be solved by Generation 2, Generation 3, so on and so forth. But ladies and gentlemen, the future is now. Magic Leap is the future. Yes, I am a Magic Leap fanboy. The name of my new channel is called AR Game Rankings. No, I'm just kidding. But but anyway, this is pretty amazing. And I'm super excited about Magic Leap. I can't wait for the spring when they come out with more information. I really think we're on the cusp of something truly incredible. Because I've said it before. I'll say it again. Every so often, something incredible comes down the pipe and it changes our entire world situation. Think about airplanes. Think about cars. Think about television. Think about radio. Think about phones. Think about electricity. Think of all the inventions that have happened, the internet, cell phones, just all these incredible inventions inventions that have happened over the years that have completely transformed the way we live our lives. And I truly feel we are on the cusp of this with Magic Leap. We are on the cusp of this. I think they are going to bring an incredible product to us. And I got to say, Microsoft and a whole bunch of other companies have got to be sweating this in a major, major way because I just don't think they got the juice that Magic Leap has cooking. So it is going to be incredible, tremendously exciting, really looking forward to the future that Magic Leap is going to bring all of us. So anyway, guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for episode 98 of the VR Game Rankings Daily Vlog Series for Wednesday, February 14th. It is Valentine's Day. It, it's Valentine's Day, right? And I am in love. I am in love with Magic Leap. Magic Leap, will you please be my Valentine? Okay, I'll see everybody tomorrow. Take it easy. Later.